Work solutions for math methods exam one happened in 2020. In question number one, we're asked to find the y dx, so it's the derivative, and I can see x in two different spots, so therefore I need to use the product rule. u equals x, so u dash equals one, v equals the sine of x, and using the formula sheet, v dash is equal to cos of x. And since I cross multiply, dy dx will equal x times cos of x plus 1 times the sine of x, and that's my answer. In question 2, or part b, sorry, I need to evaluate the derivative when x equals 1. So I need to take the derivative and then sub x equals to 1 into it. I have an x in the numerator and an x in the denominator. I'll use the quotient rule. u will be on top, so that's log base e of x, and using the formula sheet, u dash is 1 on x and v equals x plus 1 cubed, and I need to use the chain rule. I've got something cubed, so that's 3, times that something squared, and the derivative of the inside is 1. So, on the formula sheet, it tells me that f dash of x will be v times u dash. So, 1 on x, x plus 3 to the power of 3, x plus 1 to the power of 3, 3 minus this times this, 3x plus 1 squared times log base c of x all over x plus 1 cubed squared. Now I don't need to simplify it, I just need to work out the evaluation when x equals 1. So f dash of 1 will be 1 on 1 times 1 plus 1, 2 cubed minus 3 times 1 plus 1 squared, log base c of 1, all over 1 plus 1 to the power of 6. So that's equal to 8 minus, that's all 0, because log base c of 1 is 0, all over 2 to the power of 6. So I've really got 2 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 6, which is going to be 1 over 2 to the power of 3, or one eighth is going to be the answer. So that's the answer to question number one.